Australia's IBF middleweight champion Daniel Gill defends his title against UK's Darren Barker on Saturday, August 17th in Atlantic City at Revel Casino and Hotel. Both athletes were in New York City where they held an open media workout in prep for their world title bout. The event will be televised live worldwide on HBO Boxing After Dark. We know Barker's going to be a tough opponent. You know, he's got good, good skills, good movement, um, Yeah, which, which is what we want. We want to go out there and make a, make a statement with this one. My, my best weapon is, is being able to think and use my brain. Um, especially in hard situations, when, when the time comes, when you when you got to dig deep, you got to be able to think. You can't, can't just rely on you know just what you've done in the gym. You've, you've got to be able to think your way out of certain situations. And uh, you know if, if that punch is there, you got to be be ready to take it. And you know, that's something I've, I've I know I've been able to do very well for a long time. And uh, I, I know I still am improving that. So boxing is a mind game. Definitely. Definitely, that's, that's why they, they call it the sweet science. I'm definitely as, as strong, as fit, and as motivated as I've, I've, ever, I've ever been. In your mind, a higher level of opposition, though, right? I mean, I know he's fought Martinez, but beyond that, you fought a higher level, you think? That's right. I, I, fought, I fought there a lot longer. Um, you know, I've had that competition where you, know, you travel, you're against tough opposition, and you even bring tough opposition to Australia at, at times, and, you know, we've still been able to do my job. You know, I, I've said plenty of times over the years that I love to travel. I love the, the challenge of you know, going, going somewhere else, you know, foreign crowd, you know, everything's different than I'm used to, but, but that's what it's about. That's what boxing is about. How is it different? You're traveling here, but it's, not, it's a neutral crowd as opposed to when you fought in Germany two times against guys from Germany. How is this different where it's neutral? Well, to be honest, I've said before, I mean, you can fight in front of one, you can fight, fight in front of a million people. Um, it, it's, it's all the same to me. If I've got them with me, it's great. If I've got them against me, it's great as well. So you know, having, having a mixed crowd, you know, it's, it, it's pretty, you can't get much more even than that. So you know, I, I just worry about myself. I don't have to worry about you know, the crowd, the, this or that. I just worry about what I need to do to win that fight. He performed against Martinez. Obviously, he, it was competitive for a while before he got stopped. How did you think he did? I, I thought he'd thought he done really well. He'd he done enough to, to frustrate Sergio at times. And, uh, you know, it's just Sergio's power shone through at the end. But, you know, he put on a good performance and, and he proved that he's got, you know, great, a great skill base. What do you see as the most important thing that you need to do in order to be victorious on Saturday night? I, I just need to stick to, I think, like I was explaining before, I need to stick to what I do best. Uh, I need to go out there and have a, you know, be confident in myself, have a high work rate, be busy for the fight. You know, I know, I know most fighters don't like the way that I fight. You know, I'm too busy for most people, and uh, you know I, I, I've developed a lot more over the years as well. And, and most people, they come up against me, they, they underrate me. They don't think I'm as good as I am until we get in that ring. Are you hopeful that a win here vaults you to a shot potentially with Martinez? Um, I mean, that's the plan. I mean, I got Gary Shaw working so hard for me. You know, he's, he's always doing a great job. You know, my, my team at the Grange always working very hard. So, you know, my job is to just win my next fight. It's their job to work out who's after that. What did you take from his fight with Martinez? I mean, I'm, I've, I've got to think you've, you've watched it a few times. He did say he did very well. What what was your takeaway from that fight? Yeah, I, th I thought he done really well also. You know, he, he sort of outboxed Sergio in stages. Um, he, he was picking him off. And, and, you know, I see him doing similar things to myself in that he'll, he'll try and pot shot me. He'll try and, uh, you know, use his reach and, and, and be evasive as well. Um, you know, but I'm not going to let that happen. Golovkin is sort of taking on this larger than life thing after these kind of KO wins. Can you give your assessment of him? Do you have any previous ring experience with him? And can you talk a little bit about uh, Gennady Golovkin? Uh, yeah, you know, Golovkin's done, done very well. You know, he, whoever's been, been put in front of him, he's been able to take out. And, and you can't do much more than that. He is, it definitely has question marks, you know, whether, whether he fights that well later into a fight he's never never been tested so you know that, that that's one thing that has to be said but you know he's done what he's had to do so far he's earned that recognition um you know but it, but it's about time that he does step up against somebody that that is gonna you know take it to him and and not be scared of him you know most guys jump in there they're they're worried about his power they're worried about getting hit i mean you gotta if you're worried about that then you're gonna lose already
How much credence do you give to the to the win over Macklin, who was seen as a very durable opponent? Yeah, to be honest, I thought Macklin uh, would have stuck in there a bit longer. Um, you know, I'd probably give him a little bit more credit. People asked me before that fight how I thought it would have went, and uh, you know, I've seen Macklin fight, and, and he, he can he can be an aggressive fighter, and I, and I expected him to, to try and, and and be aggressive against Golovkin at least. Um, but he didn't do that. You know, he probably believed in the hype a little bit too much, and uh, yeah, it went that way. So, so you trying to say he didn't psych out Golovkin? I, I, I think I think it may have been that way. Yeah, I think he may have put himself off. Yeah, he, he may have thrown himself off subconsciously. You know, with all the talk about Golovkin, man, uh, that, that, that's, how, that's how I see it. You know, it, it, there is a lot of talk going on uh, about Golovkin, and uh, you know, he does have power. You know, he has got good feet. Um, but if, if you let let him take it to you, then obviously he's going to be able to bang you. So. Best question. How important is this performance for you? Do you believe? This is as important as it gets. You know, I've travelled out from Australia, um, yeah, wanting to to showcase you know what I do. Um, I mean, this you can't get much more important for for setting up fights in the future as well. So, and not only do I have to go out and beat Darren Barker, I have to do it well, show the the American boxing fans you know, what I am and, and what I do, and uh, you know because I want to come back and fight again. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Mendez Gym in New York City. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching and see you at the fight.